So today we're going to do a color transfer demo technique and here you can see a few examples of how uh, or what you can achieve with this technique. These are uh, magazine, cutout magazine pictures that are transferred onto a Bristol board that has been prepared with spray paint that's been uh, sort of randomly uh, cut or <laughs> sprayed onto the paper. Here I'm cutting down the paper. Again, you can really do this with any size Bristol board. I like to keep um, a consistent size for a lot of different projects. And this one, uh, you, you want to tape down your edges with blue painter's tape, or you can get better, uh, you know, tape than this. But if you carefully remove it later with at an angle, painter's tape works fine. So again. Collect some organic material um, that you can use as stencils and just kind of get a random spray uh, across the background of different colors. Then you just want to select images. And again, here I kind of picked images that I thought might work without too much concern on the content or what was being uh, communicated. Uh, just images that I liked, strong contrasting figures uh, that can be put easily onto a colored background. So here I'm just trimming out the uh, the pictures I like, shapes, etc. Again, the, these are ideas. They may not have too much to do with the final image as it comes out, uh, but just kind of associating random uh, pictures together. Then the trick is to lay them out approximately where you want and I'm using a golden medium called tar gel. Uh, other mediums will work. Uh, you may get different results than I'm getting here. Uh, some artists will run this once it's uh, once you place your images onto the paper. Some artists will run this through a etching press if you have one available in the studio. Um, in this demo, I just kind of paste them down and push them down, but you'll see some buckling in the final results because of that. Um, the buckling can occur with a uh, with a press as well. So here, after you let that dry overnight, you can then carefully add water and remove the paper and the image will then be sort of suspended in that gel. So that's why you get the transparent effect in the transfer. So again, the image is a little blurry here, but you can see with water, you can just kind of soak in the back of the paper, kind of like if you're in a uh, in the kitchen removing a uh, the paper off a jar you let it soak but in this case the image then stays onto the clear tar gel so i added a couple more images let them dry it overnight let them dry overnight and then i continued to remove the backing concerned about uh, the paper being too uh, not quite ready yet uh, the longer it sits, the better. Uh, two nights is pretty good. One night, these were all done in one night just to make the demo, but uh, generally you may want to wait the weekend, do it on a Friday, and then come back on a Monday, and just then you can remove the images pretty easily, the backing pretty easily. So here again, just trying to find random images, put this other figure on top of another figure, remove the backing and we'll see how the color combinations look afterward. As I mentioned, a lot of it's just trial and error to see what kind of types of marks and colors you can get. Then carefully remove the tape. Um, you can see here, this is why in the beginning I wanted you to tape off your edges. It, all, it holds the paper down in place and helps with this step as well. So when you see the final result, you have a little automatic border that uh, it gives you a clean edge that uh, presents nicely. Here's the final images from the demo. Here the background was pretty dark and covered the face. And here the backing got removed a little bit too much, but I like the grungy look.